हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन द प्रीवियस मॉड्यूल वी हैव लर्न अ फ्यू वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन विच वर यूज टू रिप्लेस अ ग्रुप ऑफ वर्ड्स टूडे वी शेल लर्न अ फ्यू मोर वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन एज वी नो वन वर्ड सब्सटीट्यूशन इज द यूज ऑफ वन वर्ड in place of a group of words in order to make the sentence structure more clear the meaning with the replacement of the phrase remains the same and the sentence becomes shorter so let's begin the class now let us see the first expression people who work together or we can simply say colleagues a colleague is someone you work with at your job for example if you are a teacher the other teachers are your colleagues now let us see how to use the word colleagues in a sentence please repeat after me i have eight colleagues in my office all my colleagues are very nice and well behaved now let us see the next expression one who lives at the same time or we can simply say contemporary contemporaries are people belonging to or living at the same time age or period in english class if you hear that one famous writer was a contemporary of another that means they lived at the same time now let us see how to use the word contemporary in a sentence please repeat after me shakespeare was a contemporary of marlowe he was a contemporary of darwin Now let us see the next group of words to transfer one's authority to another or we can simply say delegate if you delegate duties responsibilities or power to someone you give them those duties those responsibilities or that power so that they can act on your behalf now let us see how to use the word delegate in a sentence please repeat after me the cm delegated some of his powers to the deputy cm before leaving for a foreign tour i do not like to delegate my share of work to anyone else now let us see the next expression a government by the people or we can simply say democracy democracy is a form of government in which the supreme power is vested in the people and exercised directly by them or by their elected representatives under a free electoral system now let us see how to use the word democracy in a sentence please repeat after me a strong opposition is vital to a healthy democracy
democracy has no room for dictators now let us see the next group of words one who delights to speak only of himself or we can simply say egotist an egotist is an extremely self absorbed boastful person remember we often get confused between egotist and egoist though these two words look similar they have different meanings an egotist is a conceited boastful person while egoist is a self-centered or selfish person let us see how to use the word egotist in a sentence please repeat after me he does not have any friends because he is an egotist it is hard for an egotist to win friends now let us see the next group of words a contagious disease which spreads over a huge area or we can simply say epidemic an epidemic is an outbreak of a disease that spreads quickly and affects many people at the same time as we all know that who has declared covid-19 as a pandemic so it is important to know the difference between a pandemic and epidemic a pandemic is a type of epidemic that relates to geographic spread and describes a disease that affects an entire country or the whole world in short pandemic is an epidemic on a national or global level now let us see how to use the word epidemic in a sentence please repeat after me the government is taking all the measures to stop dengue from becoming an epidemic in some of the cities It is very difficult to control an epidemic once it sets in. Now, let us see the next group of words. A speech delivered without any previous preparation. or we can simply say extempore an extempore is a speech made without any preparation or thought something extempore is spontaneous and unscripted now let us see how to use the word extempore in a sentence please repeat after me i stood first in my college extempore contest atal ji was famous for his extempore speeches in public life that's all for today in the next module we shall learn some more one words which can be used as substitutes thank you